everybody, DJ Henry here. I'm here with my friend Shayla Pinner, and we're gonna talk about <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> Shayla, I want you to share with everyone what you are, what your what your mission in life is right now. What's important to you right now? Right now, I would say my mission is just trying to create a sense of sisterhood and bring back community and support. And trying to do that right now is through a blog, but. I've been trying to organize some meetups here and there just to get people out and about. Um, free concerts, going wine tasting, <laughs> sushi dates, food, and just trying to support each other because I think women can learn so much from other women, but you do have to be open to it. Um, so just trying to encourage that. Uh, typically uh, around um, younger women, um, but anybody, mm -hmm. if you feel like you need some encouragement or support, why not have a group of sisters there that are willing to do it versus some of the fake friends you might come across. What do you think is some problems that happen within sisterhood and the community that, like what do you think that we need to change? I think the biggest thing is the cattiness. You know, everything's all good and everybody's so supportive until you outshine them and then all of a sudden those same people aren't there anymore or they start kind of nitpicking or maybe having some negative things to say. But just genuine people who are happy for you because you know, saying go, oh, everybody's not always gonna be happy for you. But my idea would be to get women together who are genuinely there to help other people because mm -hmm. when you push somebody else up, it's not even just about them, it should be, but you shine a little too. Um, I get excited when I help people or give somebody some information that takes them 10 steps ahead. That, mm -hmm. that works for me. What would you say to the woman if she finds herself starting to feel catty and feel jealous when one of her friends is doing really well? What would you say to her to wake her up and let her know, you know, to hold back from that? I think the first question would be, what is, why are you, you know, kind of that, old, why are you mad? But you know, what is it that is bothering you truly? Is it because this person and maybe achieve something you wanted to achieve or maybe they you feel like now they're ahead of you maybe you think that person is gonna leave you behind or you know there could be a lot of um, different issues coming from years back so I would, I would say just figure out what it is about this person's success that either makes you unhappy or intimidated mm -hmm. and learn from it because if that person is truly a sister anyway However, they got on top, they'd be willing to help you get there too. Mm -hmm. So, so that's really important. Yes. To help each other, bring each other up, and really examine if you're starting to feel something negative inside when a friend of yours is doing well. But <clears throat> when one of you does good, then all of you do good. Truly, we run the world, but when we are catty and rude to each other and um, just not supportive, we tear the communities that basically build our society up. I want you to share a little bit about your blog. What's your blog's okay. name and how can people find your blog? And you're moving out of frame. I don't share the blog, <laughs> I'm not used to this. Um, the blog is thedebonairdame.com. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr. Tumblr not very active, but I'm there. Um, D debonair, no E at the end, dame.com. Um, and the blog is basically about sisterhood. I post information about um, anything from wellness, um, weight loss, because we all got some problems. Um, I just did a post today about um, preparing for a job interview, and um, you will catch some of my randomness because I'm very random. Um, <laughs> but just things that pertain to a woman, you know, there's no one size fits all. In a life, you have several different pieces to the puzzle. You have the fashion, you have cooking, you have um, spiritual, you have wealth. Um, you know, we don't have it. My thing for the blog is kind of for the woman who doesn't have it together, but we're trying to get it together. The idea is to make it a community. So hopefully here soon, it will be a community to where you can log in and post your um, tips and information for other women. Um, because I don't have all the answers. I'm still learning from women. So if I could get a thousand women to put their stories and their tips about life on there, then I can learn something too. Mm -hmm. So it's just a start, um, but check me out, follow me. Um, and if you're in Indy, hopefully 
we'll get some meetups going here soon. I would love to do some wine and dine. I did sushi last week. <laughs> um, so Which you next? I'll be there. I don't know. I want to do the. I like sushi. Um, do you? Yeah, I love sushi. Ooh. You have to check out her vlog. This <laughs> lady is so entertaining. She tells it like it is. She is so real. It's not fake. It's and from I'm the heart. Never politically correct. So <laughs> don't don't come in judging me. If you want some entertainment, some truth, <laughs> some encouragement, inspiration, check out the debonairdame.com. I told you to my stomach, girl. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get out of here and get something to eat. Thanks for joining us at the Inspired Cafe. Check the bar below for the links to everything for Shayla. And don't forget to subscribe to the Inspired Cafe. Thanks. See Bye. ya. We got food for days around these parts. What? <laughs>